Tell us more about your out- outreach programs. Oh, dear. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did a little digging before you came in uh-huh. and found a little bit about some of the programs you offer, whether it's range days. Mm-hmm. Um, do you focus on youth? Do you focus on females? Tell us about your range days. So mostly females. Yeah. Um, youth, definitely. Yeah. I started doing range days in probably 2011. I was working at a gun store in Ontario and people were recognizing that there was a female behind the gun counter and girls were coming in and asking me questions, show me how to shoot, blah, 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 blah. And that rolled into taking a couple of girls to the range to taking 30 girls to a range and setting it up into stations. So pistol, shotgun, rifle, archery, and cutting the girls up into four groups of six and having them rotate from station to station. So all the stations are going at once and they got 45 minutes of unlimited ammo or arrows and being able to rotate and learn everything that they can about the mechanisms, the mechanics of the tools that they're using in a non-intimidating environment. So that was way back then. And since then it's grown. uh, And I think the, I mean, most people do one range day a year. I was up to nine. Oh, wow. So traveling all over Ontario, and I would only take 30 girls because I want to know who you are, yep. I want to remember who you are, and I want to yep. keep in contact. So I started from 12 years old all the way up to, I think my oldest lady was 84. That's and awesome. He, so awesome. Her <laughs> story, I've never shot a gun before in my life. I want to shoot that one. She chose a 12-gauge shotgun. She pulled the trigger. She swore. <laughs> And then she wanted to shoot it again. I don't even know if she's still alive. That yep. was a long time ago. Yeah, her but... shoulder survived, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, don't, I didn't see her the next day. But um, so then being involved with the Toronto Sportsman Show allowed me to meet more people in the communities around where I live yep. and where I have range days where they're bringing in their youngsters who are like maybe 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. And in the last couple of years, them coming to meet me and saying, Amanda, you know, I want to shoot a gun. I want to come to range day and me going, well, usually don't go anywhere under 12, but let's take you over to this booth and see if you can shoulder even a 410. Yeah. Because um, 9, 10 year olds, 11, 12, whatever, so they're all built differently, right? Yep. So I, I've, I think the youngest girl I had this year was nine. Very cool. Mm-hmm. And do you find most of your clientele at those range days are already outdoor women? Or is no. it women who just think it'd be cool to get into it, see what it's all about? They know nothing about guns for the most part. Yes. I, would, I would say 75% of the women have never touched a gun before. Yep. But then I have 25% who are return. They, they come, like I have one girl that's come to like 20 range days. Wow. So, um... And every range day is different. Every range day offers something different. Sometimes we have black powder. Uh, This year we're going to have a cannon. (laughs) That's awesome. Right? That's as good as it gets. (laughs) So um, Accuracy shooting with a cannon? Like you're actually hitting a target? Well, yeah, we're going to hit something. We're going to shoot it at something. Perfect. (laughs) (laughs) Pirates of the Caribbean range day. Nice. So um, everything, and, and and I try to make every range day just a little bit different. So at the beginning of the day when you're all coming in, I talk about what kind of actions we're using and what kind of calibers to expect. We'll rip apart an 870 and we'll put it back together and then I'll get some of the girls to come up and do it that way too. If you know how a gun works, you're more comfortable holding it and pulling the trigger. Yeah. So, and um, the kids, kids are amazing. The kids are phenomenal when it comes to firearms. And they're so safe. And I mean, if you teach them that safety stuff at such a young age, it's going to stick with them. It's like going to school. Yep.